everybody, Matt Terry from Avid here at Sundance 2020. Once again, this time joined by editor Nels Bangerter, who's here with his film, Dick Johnson is Dead. A very provocative title. Nels, tell me a little bit about the film. Uh, it's about the filmmaker's relationship with her dad, and it's kind of a comedy fantasy about his, his death. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting tonally, it's interesting as a filmmaking thing, and it's, uh, it's an emotional movie. Now, how did you become attached to this film? Uh, I've known the filmmaker before. Uh, the The director, Kirsten Johnson, uh, made Camera Person, which I edited, which was at Sundance a few years ago. And we've been really close friends and collaborators since then. Uh, and yeah, I, I desperately wanted to work on her next movie as well. So. so tell me a little bit about the production and post-production workflow. What did you shoot and uh, you know, what was the crew like and the editorial setup like? Well, uh, we shot 4K on a Canon um, and Kirsten's based in New York. I'm based in Oakland, California. And so we had an AE there ingesting everything in the system and sending it to me. And I just cut and cut and cut. And uh, yeah, that was, that was how it works. And as this film, was, was it already, um, has it already been bought and paid for you here selling it at the festival? It's a Netflix film. So it, uh, Netflix original, they, they were on since uh, pretty, not its conception, but since its beginning as an actual shoot. And about how long of a production and post process was this? In some ways, uh, the production was three years, uh, but in some ways, it was like a year and a half, and the post was about a year. And in terms of you know how you edit, um, these indie films sometimes can be really challenging to organize all the material, so certainly with documentary, uh, do you have any processes that you use or best practices that you employ in terms of how you organize your editing room, how you organize your media composer? I think it's really important to watch everything and documentaries often come in with you know well over 100 hours of footage and that means there's weeks and even almost months of watching before I start cutting and that's a critical part of the process where I'm processing for myself you know what are the puzzle pieces uh, that we have to work with as an editor. Um, so then it's after that that I kind of have my idea of a conception for the film and the director and I try to agree on you know what that means and we do like Kirsten and I work really well together and then it's the beginning of the cutting and rough cut and then rough cut after rough cut after rough cut until like the last three days of the process which is our fine cutting uh, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's been working for me for years. I edit almost exclusively indie featured docs, so it's always a long process, an in-depth process, a deeply collaborative process, and uh, yeah, and a, a, a challenging but really satisfying edit. So, you know, a lot of picture editors, um, some of them dive deep into sound, others tend to stay away from sound in picture editorial. You know, how would you describe your own uh, process in terms of like, you know, temp music and sound effects and sound design within the media composer. I'm always throwing stuff in sound-wise to kind of uh, sell things. Um, and a lot of times what I do ends up in the final mix. You know, everybody's like, oh, we're happy with that or that, that was great. And then other times I'm just trying to sketch it in in a way that I know the the sound designers and sound editors will be able to do a much better job. And in, in Dick Johnson is Dead, there was a sequence that we cut late that was kind of this... Uh, a rapid montage of some some action and I just left the sound off it entirely and let the sound people do it and they nailed it but in most other circumstances I would want to nail it myself first to make sure that it could be done on some level and then if the sound folks can do better which they usually can that's great but if, if they can't we're in good shape as well so is there a type of scene or a type of editing that you enjoy the most uh, yeah, I love verite cutting. I, it's it's such a, a process of kind of learning the footage and learning how the footage works, uh, working with different shooters even. You can sort of adapt to how they shoot. And uh, finally, when you're done with a scene, it really feels beautiful and natural and it feels of a moment if you do it right, when the reality is it's of a couple hours. You know, it, it, something something congeals from that that's super satisfying and when will this movie be available on netflix uh i'm not sure if i even know or am at liberty to say on that okay. uh, that work we can just keep an eye out for it yeah keep an eye out for it all right well nels thank you very much for joining us yeah. today it's good to see you that's another great story here from sundance 2020 this is matt fury from avid stay tuned to the avid social channels for more stories just like this